So, speaking of the uh, normal drawing mode, uh, let's go a little deeper into that. Uh, aside from the comma to pick the color, you need to make sure you're drawing with an actual pixel or something other than a brush. Because if I have a brush selected and I pick a color, it doesn't mean anything because I'm drawing with a brush that has its own color data. So if I want to draw with a specific color from uh, one of these instances from the template, then uh, what, what I would usually do is press period uh, by default, uh, which simply brings me back to drawing with a single pixel. Now whichever color I select here or with the comma is the color I'll, I'll be drawing with. Uh, there are, however, other options. For instance, whether I have a brush or I'm painting with uh, a colored pixel, uh, plus and minus shrinks it. H, the H key by default, uh, halves it, and shift H doubles it on size. I just press period again to get back to a single color. You can also pick some preset squares and circles. Uh, and it's fairly arbitrary that they only have uh, three here, because once you pick them, uh, pressing shift H can double them, H can half them, or holding plus or minus will uh, very gradually enlarge or shrink it. Uh, so that's, uh, these are by far the, uh, at first, the, the tools you're going to use the most are the single pixel, uh, usually just pressing plus a few times if you need to block in larger areas, or if I want to start a figure of some sort, I would usually literally just do a really fast and sloppy stick figure to get the general proportions and general size. If the whole thing ends up too big, I just grab the whole thing as a brush and press minus or plus however much I need to. Let's say I want to make another character that's pretty much the size of this little guy here. I can make sure it's about the right size, stamp it back down, press period to get back to single pixel drawing mode, and I can start, uh, I, you know, enlarge that a little bit. And I'm using, uh, that's another important feature to keep in mind, uh, is that um, all of the mouse keys are supported. You have the left mouse key is standard draw. As you can see, I have a, a gray block here that I'm drawing with with the left, left mouse key. But if I press the comma to pick a color and click with the right key, I've just told it, if you look up here in this corner, this is the left mouse key and this is the right mouse key. So if I pick the background color with the right mouse key in the color picker tool, uh, then I now can basically erase from the silhouette with one key and add back to it with the other. So again, it's just a really fast workflow for establishing a good uh, shape or silhouette, and later on, more specific details. So I can just start to refine the proportions very, very quickly uh, with very, very little investment um, in detail. I just want to make sure the general shape is to my liking before I start messing with detail. He still needs a lot of work, but you can certainly see where I'm going with this concept.